down property once used to help children now overrun with transients. That's not a benefit to this community right now. It's a detriment. What the city is planning to build in its place. Only on two blaring horns and loud trains disrupting the way of life for people in Claremore. They do all day and all night. So, yeah, there's no sense in counting. Why the city's attempt to reduce the noise is getting mixed reviews. In tonight's Project Safe Schools. But you have to be prepared for whatever may happen. We show you how state colleges are preparing future teachers for uncomfortable conversations. I'm Karen Larson. I'm Brian Sanders. We're working for you. You're watching Two Works For You at 6. You never know what one of those people is going to do. Some people in Midtown fearful of not only what they call a blighted property, but a vagrant hotspot. Formerly the boys' home and Laura Dester site that once housed children is now abandoned and causing quite the controversy. People who live near South Rockford Street in the Pearl District say that they just want some answers. So Two Works For You anchor Corey Duke went to work. For the last three years, residents living in this area have complained about the homeless population invading on their community. But as it turns out, this may not be a problem for much longer as talks of a new living complex are already in the works. It's a bite on this area, I can tell you. Once a place for children, the Tulsa Boys Home and Laura Dester site now sits vacant. It's a, a good spot. It's a, a nice piece of property in the city of Tulsa that it's a shame it's not being used for something productive for this community. It's windows broken, some covered in boards. The doors bolted shut, but not deterring unwanted guests. That's not a benefit to this community right now. It's a detriment. Residents in the area say vagrants inhabit the old buildings, littering the neighborhood with trash, drug paraphernalia, and human waste. I've seen them. They've approached me and the community over here, and I'm telling you, I'm. I'm a little bit leery of them. The problem isn't new to the Tulsa Development Authority. This is a, uh, an issue that's happening all over Tulsa and the country, you know, as a whole. Officials say the site is something they're working on in hopes to revamp the Pearl District. But in essence, they want to take those existing buildings and make uh, multifamily um, housing multifamily housing units out of those overall buildings. Redevelopers already on board to transform the property into 65 loft apartments, and the TDA has agreed to enter into negotiations. The TDA is currently in the process of working on a sector plan for the overall neighborhood. Really look at and study ways to actually help um, increase growth patterns over in that area, in addition to floodplain mitigation. And although the project is good news for those nearby, they're hoping an increase in security will keep the site safe until the project gets going. And TDA is working in conjunction with our inspector, the City of Tulsa's inspector, the City of Tulsa's security department, and TPD. The TDA says they'll be surveying the site daily, boarding up the broken out windows, and sending vagrants away. Negotiations for this property could take a couple of months, but developers say they're hoping to move forward soon. In Tulsa, Corey Duke, two works for you.